back here in our video. And today I'm going to do a um, unboxing of this Philips 4K Blu-ray player. I can play um, DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K movies. But anyway, let's um, let's unbox this thing. It's kind of small, but as long as it works good. Yeah. There's the remote control packaging right there. It's kind of tilted up here. Playing output, uh, HDMI output, optical. As you saw in the last clip, this piece had an, a like a tape over it. It had a, like a seal to pull it. Had HDMI audio out. And I was like, "Well, where's the audio out?" Because it on the specs it had that this had HDMI audio output, which was good. And I was like, "It had this was covered up by a uh, little label thing." So. You know, you might look at that and go, well, it doesn't have an HDMI audio output, but you have to peel it off. And I've never seen a, a connection with a, with a little label over it where you had to peel it off. But anyway, that was kind of weird. But I could see somebody going, this doesn't have an HDMI audio output. I say an HDMI because they don't see it there, and then you peel the sticker off. Anyway, I've... I remember I had a deal like that with a printer one time. Somebody brought a printer back and said, it doesn't come with any cables. Said, yeah, it does. It's up inside the printer. And I pulled the little door down where the cables were. And, oh, there's where they are. So, you know, they but, I mean, they brought, out, brought it back. They were going to return it because they didn't see the cables. And I could see somebody returning this because, well, this was supposed to have an HDMI output. Oh, it's behind this little seal. But anyway, I just thought that was kind of weird. That they did it like that, but anyway, it does have it both HDMI and HDMI audio out. Okay, guys, so here's the uh, Blu ray player. So up here is the front of the player, it's got a few fingerprints on it, so I should wipe that off first. But anyway, um, peeled the, the um, plastic off of it, I got a few fingerprints on it already. It's got a slick, um, real slick black finish. Uh, to it, so it kind of it's a beer pick magnet as well as carrying dust. But I mean, it has a nice look if you dust it all off and everything. DDS 2.0 digital out, DVD video, 3, 3D Blu ray, and most importantly, Ultra HD Blu ray. Which, and I've actually got a good collection of um, 4K Blu rays. This is the back of the unit here. You can hear this fan blowing. Uh, it's got a pretty powerful fan. In there you can see you can see it blowing in there. Um, Java powered Philips 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. And now there's the model and everything. It's your LAN port. Now this um this player is um, wired LAN only. It doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi, but I do have a smart uh, 4K TV with all the Wi-Fi apps, so it wasn't really important to me to have a 4K player with the built-in Wi-Fi. It was cheaper to get without it, so anyway, I just got it with a built-in LAN port. Uh, now, you can get a Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, rate extender with um, with a LAN port. If you want to connect something like this to uh, to your internet, you can still connect it that way, or you can run a wire from your router. Um, these are temporary cables here. I'm going to get a 4K HDMI cable. This is um, your standard cables. Are the the gold play of 4K HDMI cables are better connection for, for running 4K video. This is the uh, remote control for the unit. A fingerprint magnet here. Um, that's your power button on top. Audio options. Subtitle for text. Your info, repeat buttons. The home screen, D-pad with your menu options, and your standard um, 
forward in previous tracks, stop, eject, rewind, play, pause, fast forward. It's a kind of simplistic remote control, but um, it does have a nice firm grip. And uh, it actually is um, fairly thick. This actually has room to grip it in the battery compartment. At the back, it uh, uses two AAA batteries. This is the home screen on the player. It's really basically you've got your disk options, home network, and like I said, it's um, it's uh, wired internet only. Um, uh, but you know, so if you if you want something that has built-in Wi-Fi, you have to kind of pay a little more for it. This one was one hundred twenty-nine dollars. This Blu-ray player. Um, USB options you can do photos, music, movies, and then your setup options. Anyway, it's fairly basic. I might preview a disc for you here. This is the 4K splash screen of uh, the 4K version of ET. Um, just kind of, I don't know if you can see the picture and quality on it, but the picture quality on this is really good. The 4K video. Um, I think I'm really, really going to enjoy this 4K Blu-ray player. And uh, you know, I think the the picture, the picture compared to regular, even regular Blu-rays, is really good. Uh, and uh, it's it's definitely it's definitely an upgrade from regular DVD. But anyway, um, I think I'm really going to enjoy this 4K Blu-ray player. I took the sound off. I don't want to get the copyright. I'm hoping I get copyright for this. But anyway, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And um, any comments, questions, uh, please let me know in the comments section. And um, please give, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.